my father got to do my nickel ride. So he's been an instructor pilot here at Fort Rucker for several years, and he was actually able to take me up, do my first flight. The significance of the nickel is that it has their birth year on it. But for me, the most significant part is I started to work here when Brian was a year and a half old. And to have him flying in my right seat and having him take the flight controls and fly this helicopter was a very surreal experience. It meant the world to me. Growing up, obviously I knew my dad was a pilot and that he taught people how to fly. So I'd hear stories all the time growing up. And for him to be able to share that with me and actually take me up was a bit surreal. I was a little worried it was gonna be like when he was teaching me how to drive a car, but I found out he's a very good pilot and it was awesome to be in his right seat. I looked over there, I said, you have the controls. And I realized it was my son not just another individual that I was teaching how to fly. But at the same time, it really felt no different because I really treat all of the people that I teach how to fly as if they were one of my own. This time, it just happened to be real. He was my son. To be able to share any moment like that with a family member, especially one of your parents is special, but this is just completely special because you don't hear about it too often. Not, not, too, many, not too many people have parents that are pilots or parents that are able to fly with them, so. That's something I'm going to cherish forever. I have amassed about 250 nickels. That represents 250 individuals that I've taught how to fly. Uh, and I have them in a jar at the house. This particular nickel is going to be framed. Uh, I'm going to put a plaque uh, with a, a thing on the bottom of it that says the date and the time. And I'm going to hang this nickel on the wall next to his saber that he gave us as a retirement gift from West Point. So it's gonna take a very unique and special place on the wall in our house.